It is a known fact that software engineers make a lot of money. From an outsider looking in, they may look at a developer as someone who just gets to sit down all day, stare at a screen, and write some code. And although there is truth to that, in this video, I'm gonna break down why software engineers get paid so much money. The first reason software engineers are paid so much is because of the revenue per employee. Software engineers are paid a lot of money because companies get a lot of profit off of the code that you write. Developing software is an extremely lucrative business in any sector in order to gain a competitive advantage over your competition. Software is extremely accessible to everyone around the world, and once it's written, it can be available for millions of people to use, of course, with the right infrastructure in place. And this may sound a bit dehumanizing, but if you look at software engineers as assets for a company, we provide a very large return on their money, assuming the software written is profitable. A small team of talented engineers could equate to a business making hundreds of millions of dollars. And just as an example, when Instagram was bought out by Facebook in 2012 for $1 billion, it only had 13 employees, and that included two founders. And you can assume not all 13 employees were part of engineering. So this really drives the point home that a small group of talented engineers can provide an incredible amount of value. This is a big reason why software engineers are just paid so much money. An interesting graphic from howmuch.net shows the profit that big tech companies make on their employees. Apple leads the pack with $1.9 million per employee. That's just an insane number. Facebook, $1.6 million per employee. Alphabet, $1.3 million employee. And the list just goes on. So paying software engineers six figures per year is no problem for these big tech companies. The second reason software engineers are paid so much is the shortage of qualified applicants. Software is everywhere and is needed in absolutely every sector, healthcare, financials, energy, technology. It will always be needed to advance profits. According to Forbes in a 2019 CNBC news analysis on the shortage of software engineers, there are over 920,000 unfilled positions for software engineers just in the US alone and only 165,000 potential applicants. These potential applicants included graduates from coding boot camps and computer science programs. So this means that only 18% of software engineering jobs were being filled. If only one in five software jobs are being filled, a big reason these jobs pay so much is just supply and demand. There is a large demand for talented engineers, but there is not a large supply of qualified people. Naturally, these positions will result in high wages to not only attract new talent, but to try to keep the talent the company has acquired. And this is just my opinion, but I think the number of filled positions will decrease over time because of the constantly changing tech and the difficulty of this career path. So this actually leads me to my next reason. The third reason why software engineers make so much money is programming is hard. Since programming can be so difficult, there are not many qualified applicants, which is a factor into why software engineers are paid so much. It's a requirement to learn new things all the time in this field. There will be constant confusion because you're always having to learn the next thing trying to figure out the bug you are running into that no one else has posted on Stack Overflow can be an absolute nightmare. You'll often have endless Chrome tabs eating at your RAM with pages to documentation, blog posts, videos, all to solve one of many, many problems. Many people when they first are learning to code will quit not long after. Coding can be a very polarizing experience. Either you love it or you hate it. There's not really like an in-between state, at least that's what I've come to realize. In order to be committed to becoming an expert in this field, you have to be motivated to continue and push through all of the hurdles. When you're first learning to code, you're likely gonna follow some tutorial step-by-step, step, but following tutorials will only get you so far. If you really, really want to make it in this field, you have to come up with your own projects and learn while trying to accomplish your goals. That is when you will learn the most, 
but that is also the most difficult part. Most people will not be willing to put in the time or be motivated to branch out of just following tutorials. The fourth reason software engineers are paid so much is that we have to go through constant learning. We're gonna be having to learn new things every single day, no matter what. Software is constantly changing. There's always a new tool, framework, or language to learn in order to advance your skill set further. As a software engineer, we also must try to find ways to improve the systems we build, and this involves a lot of research and planning. Being in software means that you must be comfortable jumping out of your comfort zone because if the technology around you is changing but you are not advancing with it, you're just gonna be left behind. If you think about other occupations, electricians, nurses, mechanics, whatever it is, I would argue that those types of jobs do not have their day-to-day -day tasks changing very much over time. I'm not saying they won't change, I'm just saying that they are likely not changing as fast as software is. Software changes so quickly that what you are learning right now, today, could be irrelevant five to 10 years from now. I think this is a big reason why software developers make so much money. We must adapt and improve in order to stay relevant in our careers. The fifth reason software engineers are paid so much is that our jobs are difficult to outsource. Getting up to speed on how a piece of software is written and maintained can take months of learning depending on the complexity. If you're working in the industry, think of the time you had to onboard for a new job. It likely took you several months before you became comfortable with the code base. In a 2018 Forbes article, it was noted that at Google, it's generally believed that it takes around six to 12 months for a new Googler to become productive. This leads to the conclusion that trying to outsource work to new engineers can take a really long time to see any value. It's actually in the company's best interest to try to keep the engineers that understand the software the most as long as possible instead of outsourcing their work because of how long the ramp up time is. As an example, let's say we have a software engineer named Bob and Bob has been at his company for several years and he understands nearly all parts of the code base and he's getting paid 100K per year. Then the company decides, well, let's get rid of Bob and outsource his work to Steve for 60K, which on paper would save the company 40K per year. The reason this is a bad idea is because if the ramp up time is 12 months, the company will be paying 60K for subpar work for a full year. And also there's no guarantee that Steve will stick around after crossing over the ramp up time period. If Steve leaves before becoming productive, the company essentially just wasted money and lost an important asset in Bob. Software engineers make so much money because our jobs are just so hard to replace. The sixth reason software engineers are paid so much is that we have high responsibility. As software engineers, we don't only have to write the code, but we must also maintain it, fix it, and monitor the software we write. Many companies, especially tech companies, will have a majority, if not all of their revenue, come from the software products they offer to the public. This means that they need to make sure that their software has near perfect uptime, meaning their services are always available. And to keep software stable, this requires constant attention from engineers, which is a huge amount of responsibility. Ensuring your systems are reliable and scalable means that many engineers are on call on the weekends. The products your company offers can be used any day of the week, 24 hours a day, which means things can go wrong even on a Saturday or Sunday. Software engineers are paid highly because the responsibilities have a direct impact on the business which can lead to working late hours and on the weekends occasionally. As you can see, software engineers make a lot of money for good reasons. If you're currently looking for your first or new software engineering job, you should definitely check out this video where I go over the resume that got me a fully remote software engineering job. The resume I share got me a job making well over six figures, while being at home, so definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all I have for you, and I will see you all next time.